connected accidental button click. Oh well, hopefully I'm back online now. Um, that's me just waving the mouse around. It's a relaxed stream, it's Monday. So, yep, that was just a tiny glitch from this end. Clicking a button I shouldn't have clicked because I've got too many windows open. Uh, yeah. It's that, in, that thing about trying to balance uh, all the different windows you need for the stream with the amount of screens and I have like, I have two screens now and they're pretty big screens but I have got a discord chat with mods, I've got my OBS, I've got um, my channel window on Twitch and I've got those running on one screen so I have one screen uh, free to play the game on so well uh, I miss having that kind of a Monday so so I'm a little bit jealous the other way around I mean I've started just you know applying for ridiculous jobs now because uh, I'm so bored um, looking into if there's any way I can get back into tailoring or something like that just for a couple of hours a week because not a lot happening on the job front uh, if you can't work um, a 37 hour week so but besides that uh, Monday and everything uh, there are bigger issues in the world than that so uh, let's play some more games let's see what's that weird rainbow uh, I get bored um, pretty easily that's one of the reasons I have so many hobbies way too many hobbies uh, so that every time I get bored I kind of jump around the circuit of, uh, of all my hobbies so, um, oh, I was going to see what this is. Um, something with a rainbow. What on earth is this? Is this something that's going to cause me a lot of damage? Not the other one. Um, can't get through. Can I burn my way through? Or use the shield thingy? No. No. So maybe this is something where I can kind of pass through one color for every boss I kill or something like that. That's just a theory. Um, let's see, there's something up there with a the bridge as well, but the closest one seems to be this thingy. Let's see, that kind of aims at the castle in the water. So, <laughs> well, well, she, when you, if you don't have a, if you have like a busy mind, you need to op occupy yourself. Uh, I used to do some modding some years back as well, uh, that was mainly on some of the first Minecraft servers. Um, okay, let's see what it's saying. Left button and right Q and dub. So, stuns mechanical and oh god, now I have to. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. So, let's see. Um, so, he was not an enemy or what? Oh, that was just a lady. Um, that's weird. Uh, I need to do some jumping here, I think. Mm. 
What is that dude? I have no idea what that dude is. Oh, water. Is that a good or a bad thing? I have no idea. Ouch, ouch, ouch. There's a shark and what on earth she is. I have no idea. But let's just... Usually those are killable. Yeah, got that dude. Ah, jump. God damn it. Just notice the amazing running background, the background I'm going through. God, it, it makes me want to, it really makes me want to program again, go back into uh, to Game Maker. So she's throwing sharks, that's what's happening. Okay, so let's see if we can... Oh, got hit by a shark. Got to the end, so that, that wasn't too bad. And a little bit of money, but I still need to get up to like those 500 to make anything happen. So now I've got like something that looks like a camp in the forest. Or some underwater scenario, what do you think? Oh, I get bored at work or school too, Dark Winter Dreams, but it's kind of like an... Um, I need a certain amount of boredom to be able to be creative. And in a job, the, the monotony of the things that you do allows me to um, be creative in, in the amount of time I have left over when I'm, you know, with my spare time. Uh, when I have nothing to do, I become kind of aimless, so uh, if it happens, especially at this season, it, I end up like doing major spring cleaning and redoing my website and sitting down, doing a new series of drawings, maybe deciding to, I don't know, crochet another blanket for the couch. Um, there's not really any direction in it, and I, I'm sometimes I wish I was a bit more like uh, some of the American streamers that that seems a lot more uh, aimed. Uh, it's like if they do art, they mainly do art. If they do games, they mainly do games. Uh, they they put a lot of work into like the professional thing about streaming, and all I've is come up with this kind of like uh, because I'm a slow mover is so uh, oh well now Anders is uh, starting school uh, I could like do an afternoon stream one more weekday so I'm up to like two streams in a week and that's like that's gonna disrupt my my non-routine enough already so um, yeah Oh, underwater. If there's no uh, other requests, um, we're going to go for the underwater then. Um, well, I set up uh, Talk Show as the title because I know I'm going to talk on top of this anyway. So let's see. I've got the game frame active. Yes. Let's see what this is all about. Um. Was this the one I already did? No. Uh, is it? Oh, I think he's uh, mechanical. But why doesn't that work? It's like I've gotten a weapon, but it's not something I can really use for anything that mechanical thingy. I have to remember there's that lady throwing sharks down there. So, uh, there we go. But yeah, we just need to get up this dude. Ah! I didn't get up this time. 
that one more shot, lady. There we go. I think last time I went uh, over the. Haha! <laughs> How funny is that? It's like. <laughs> Yeah, I see. So you could use it to kind of get up that way, but you have to be able to. Yeah, let's try that one again. And <laughs> nicely modeled fluid dynamics, good one, so. There we go. Oh, this is, yeah, definitely. I, I was. I thought so. Okay. What is that? I'm gonna run into the fan or what? Uh, okay, it is just about doable. Let's get past that shark lady. There we go. Um, what's that supposed to mean? Can I do anything with that one? Oh, there's another dragon! The dragon is on the other side of the campfire isn't an enemy, so shame on you if you try to attack him. His name is Fliss, and he's Dragon's friend from when they were little, as you can tell from their brohawk here. Fliss doesn't speak Dragon common, which makes him kind of a barbarian. But fortunately Dragon understands Dragonese and can translate their conversation for us. Oh man, Fliss, I ain't seen you in an age, says Dragon. Yeah, it's been forever. Come here, dog. Let's take a selfie, exclaims Fliss. Dragon has a very low opinion of selfies. What? No, I, uh, I don't have my phone, he lies. That's fine. We'll use mine. They take their selfie. Dragon feels unclean. So how you been, Dragon? Are you still? Dra Dragon tells me this turn of phrase translates poorly. Definitely. She and I are doing great. I guess that's cool. Still think it's nasty though. So how come you're out here? I thought you hated the beach. Ugh, I do. All those tentacle things and fish with underbites and those giant clear amoebas. Dragon shudders. Jellyfish? Yeah, yeah those. I hate those. So gross. What about like Crazy poisonous sea urchins that make you feel fall off if you step on them. Dragon shoots Fliss a rude look. Now you're just making fun of me. Anyways, you still haven't told me how come you're out here. Oh, right. Well, things are going good with my girl and all, but she kind of got kidnapped by the king. Dragon explains the story thus far to his friend. And that's why I gotta find his admiral. The admiral? Man, I hate her. She's... Dragon says he's rather not translate this part either. I thought I already fought the Admiral, but apparently not. Uh, I hear cats in the background. It's 10 o'clock. Uh, luckily, I've got someone helping me feeding the cats. So. Fliss pints out a ship on the horizon. She's in that boat there, he says. It's a new ship she just had built. She keeps driving around in circles like she owns the place. Is it a military ship? asked Dragon. I don't want to fight her there if she's going to have a bunch of soldiers backing her. Nah, it's one of those... Flynn looked like he's fishing for the right word. One of those ships they have man parties on. Oh, just a bunch of rich nobles then. That will be easy. It's slow, so you can probably catch it if you swim. You could wait till they get close and sneak on too, if you wanted to scare some of the passengers. Yeah, I'll figure it out. 
Fliss stops Dragon just as he's about to leave. If you're heading that way anyway, you want to do me a quick favor? You still remember how to use ice breath? Not really. It's been a while. Here, let me give you a refresher so you can go free some humans. Fliss, that's awful. Come on, it doesn't hurt him. Do it for me. Fine, but only because we're bros. Yeah, I know. Don't give me that look. Dragon insists that's an accurate translation. Quite frankly, I think he just wanted me to see me write man parties. New move. Oh, this is going to be awesome. I haven't figured out how to use this, the two other moves. I wonder if I'm supposed to use Q and E at the same time for those moves. <laughs> I'm an expert. Okay, jellyfish or man parties. That is the option. So what are we in for? Jellyfish or man parties? Free sheep. Yeah, evil sheep. I'm not really into the pink sheep thingy. Those are just plain evil. But, uh, right now, decision, decision, jellyfish or man parties. Where are we going next? Wonder which one is going to be the jumpy one and if one of them is going to be more like a killy one. I want one where I don't die so many times so I can kind of collect some money. Jelly bodies. That, that, that's a mix up. Um, I'm not really sure I'm allowed to go that direction and I'm pretty sure that would be against terms of service. But if I should go from what is closest to the castle in the water it should be the jellyfish. So let's jump to the jellyfish. There we go. So there's a couple of dudes hanging out there. And I'm supposed to jump onto the boat perhaps. Let's see. The freeze enemies solid. So that there's like a cycle on Q. Oh, it's probably so I can Oh yeah, of course. So it's like I choose on Q and then I fire on A. <laughs> yeah well. Oh no, oh no. Nope, you just have to run when the sheep comes. There is no doubt about that. Sheep are supposed to be like the nemesis. Sheep come run. to land. Oh! How nice is that? Ah, I can't get through there. 
Ouch. Oh, <laughs> and do not jump into the soul blades. The soul blades are evil as well. And she is throwing sharks that tiny. I'm all like this. Just see if we can un outrun everything. <laughs> Get me. Oh no, I died. Okay, so I need to just figure out, I mean, he said like the freeze press, so we're going to try to use that one mainly so I don't have to like cycle through it. They're going. So run, get up there, get up there. Get up there. Oh, I'm still getting ah crap. Let's see if it's possible for me to just nope. A lot of damage in the water too. Yeah, the sheep are always waiting at the end. I'm like, this, the, that sheep revolution there is just going to trample everybody, apparently. Nothing more dangerous than a pink sheep revolution. How old is this game? Okay, one more run. Try to remember to actually <laughs> not get stuck in the water, for instance. I don't like. There we go. Yeah, let's just use the fire attack. Up there, and up there. Seem like it might actually be a good idea to get in here on this. Ah, oh, god damn it! I think I have to kind of hit that platform. Two thousand fifteen, yeah. Well, definitely props to the developer developers of this game. Totally loving it. Any chance that I can just like no sheep are coming, so no just hanging out. Ah, oh, that's the thing, I have to kind of do a landing that kills me every time. So apparently it's better to just like run manically through the, the course like I did in the beginning because I ended up on the right platform, so let's just do it. run. There we go. Uh, I need to be like so. 
massage from these evil soul blades. I'm doing a lot better this time. Oh yeah, I actually got through. So just run like a maniac and don't worry too much about hitting anything. So yeah, well, I'm gonna have nightmares about pink sheep from now on forwards. So now I can go back there or I can go to the man party. Or I can go all the way back up to that bridge I never went to. So um let's see. Let's go to those man parties and see what they want to do out there. Yeah, it's the wind rinse wind, definitely. Just run. If someone is threatening you, kneel. It's a, an excellent starting position when you have to take off. So, yeah. I have to say, like Dark Winter Dreams, I'm not very good at running. I always get cramps or weird kinds of places, but... Dragon slithers across the deck of the cruise ship. He's pretending like he's the hero from that stealth action video game. You know the one, it has giant robots and the guy with glasses and long hair who loves samurai swords. It doesn't last very long though, because the Admiral catches him almost instantly. Oh, it's probably a boss fight. What are you doing here? How'd you get aboard? She demands. Dragon doesn't say anything. He tucks his arm and neck in like a turtle. Maybe he thinks this will make him invisible? Do you think I'm blind? Stop that, you look ridiculous. The Admiral gives Dragon a hard look. Wait a second. Purple wings, glasses. You're that dragon the king told me to watch out for. You're here to steal his barrier orb. She pulls out a radio and makes a quick call on it. Artillery and radar starts popping out of the deck. This isn't a cruise ship. It's a secret weapon. Oh. Do you like it? I bet you wish you didn't want that barrier orb now. Your little claws won't even be, won't even be able to scratch my ship's paint job. Well, apparently we'll have to see about that. So I have to try to kind of uh, avoid these eyes of yours. So is, is that it, like a game of avoidance? Can't I? Do like any kind of damage doesn't look like it. It's like doesn't really want to let me fly any higher than oh. Ah, that's an evil one. How am I supposed to do anything if I can't do any damage? So, at some points apparently I get to jump high, but not at like when I'm over here by her. So, so how am I supposed to like do Q Can I like damage those? I have no idea what I'm supposed to do besides avoid all the the artillery. Hmm.
what am I supposed to freeze? I can't jump high enough to get the Admiral. I can only jump. It's like at one end of uh, of the screen, I can jump like three uh, times, and uh, at the Admiral, I only get like one. <laughs> I'm getting so much better. Uh, I'm starting to feel my shoulder a little bit. Um, How to aim them? Because so far the only thing I kind of observed was that they were like doing damage to me. Let's try again and try meshing some more buttons. So this is like jumping um, this but I only get like sometimes I don't know what is it because I can like jump on top of them so when they come in I have to like see this is Okay, so I can jump on top of the bombs to get to the Admiral. Yeah, okay. So that does make sense, but it has to be timed pretty accurately. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that one. So I'm hoping to for bombs coming in from the side. Ah, okay. Not like that, definitely. So I'm like, okay, so. Ah, god damn it. Maybe I should just stay on number two and then. Well, at least now I know that's an option. Um. No. Well, I'm still kind of alive, so I suppose it. Ah, god damn it. That was very much too quick, I said that. God. What 
definitely like increasing difficulty the longer you're just hanging out on deck. Ah, yeah. So if I can kind of get on top of it, they're going to hit the ship. It makes kind of sense. I probably just have to crouch down there instead of up, so like that, yeah. Let's see. No. Doesn't really look like they're impacting the ship. So it's like jump and crouch. Nope. <laughs> the only thing so far I was like, this might work, is the fact that I could actually ride on the back of a bomb if I can only just land on it. I don't know. Look, I'm down to four gold pieces again. This dragon is definitely not collecting much of a treasure. Still haven't figured out what I'm supposed to do with this. Oh, one second, I have to let uh, one of the cats out. Um, did we get an achievement? Let's just uh, check out Steam here. Um, I don't have a lot of... Uh, if I can get the dragon to whistle three particular songs? I have no idea how to do that. Uh, have 10,000 gold at once? <laughs> Yeah, right. Oh, apparently I can deposit the gold at home. That was practical knowledge. I did not know that. Defeat a boss probably without taking damage. Defeat the admiral without... I think we're quite far off from doing these. Defeat Boudouin and Alec without taking damage. Oh, I uh, I don't know if it's elegantly, it's more like a uh, laundry day dressing. So, uh, wearing like um, a dress skirt. That's the thing about being a tailor, the things at the back of your closet might really be because they're too dressy to wear. So this is just like an old dress skirt and, uh, and a uh, t-shirt that I bought that was too big that I um, cut to pieces and, and read it. So it's actually tailor-made, so kind of classy, I guess. <coughs> it's my expensive glasses, too. Um, so I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here, so nothing to do but try it again. See. Trying to not get hit by the rocket seems like 
one of the more clever moves. Like it makes some kind of an impact. <laughs> I am Danish uh, compliments. Um, we're like um, a country that believes that understatement is, is a good statement, maybe. But thank you kindly for the compliment. Well, it really is an old dress. I think I rem uh, it's, I think I made it for my niece uh, my niece's 18 year birthday so that's a little like that see you have to kind of ride the bombs that's what I've been trying to do but the timing has to be right for you to kind of get up there so um, you kind of have to jump and flip around at the same time. Two coins! God, I'm doing horribly. Uh, this one is uh, really evil. Oh, God damn it. Bad boss. Bad boss. Oh, I can hear a kitty, so I think I have to let another cat out. One second. Nah, it was Aska. So uh, Lulu, sh she's the only one who's still inside. It's because they've just been fed, so... Damn it. You don't double jump, you have to kind of land on the first rocket in the row. Ugh. Did it again. Only managed to do this one time. God damn it. is one tough boss. I may have to, you know, go back and play some of the other things and try to collect some coins and go back and see if I can store them at home. Um, let's see. I wonder if that rainbow thingy has changed uh, now. Let's see. Or if I have to Nope, still only the yellow one. What is it like? Hmm. 
No. I think it's something about having to manage different bosses. So, but I'm pretty sure I didn't do this one. Um, we can buy hit points, among other things, and I think perhaps hit points isn't a bad idea. So, um, oh, you just ran through me. That was very rude. Here I am, only trying to kind of kill everyone who's in the way, apparently. Oh, jump. And who's that dude? Can't do anything to him, can I? No, he's just a dude. Burn certain enemies. Actually got some money there. <clears throat> so I wonder how I can kind of Oh got a new thing out there, but most I wanted to see if there wasn't some way to store some of that money. I mean, there's like no money in here. Because I don't really like see any options. Uh, can't go any more side to side. I must have done some kind of leveling up because I think to remember that I don't think I had 13 hit points when I started out. Huh. No, not really anything here. <laughs> yeah, an ATM. Oh well, exit that then. That l that lady or whatever she was disappeared as well. And my my I think my money went away. Did I deposit them somewhere? Uh let's see. Oh not there. Let's see, Toxic Territory 2. Yeah. Oh, wall of fire behind me. Oh, yeah, I see. I, I, whoa, so you have to outrun this as well? So, so just do what you can to get through this. Ah, darn it. Yeah. So don't spend too much time trying to kill anything, just 
run like the devil. I, th I think we can perhaps do that. Oh, that one. So you kind of have to choose between trying to get up to him. Oh, he's oh he was evil actually. They're all kind of evil. Um. Yeah. That dude says evil too. So it's like a labyrinth of evil. Yeah. Should have expected that. I'm not sure I'm fast enough to get through this with this like ah uh, yeah wall of flame wall of flame did I get past it? I got past it okay nicely drawn flames by the way <laughs> yeah everyone is evil they're allowed to get the dragon the poor little beastie Oh, I've got something with some mountains. Something with some mountains. There we go. I just look that. I don't have kitties trying to get in. Okay. So onwards. I really hope that just the fact that I went home kind of deposited some money. Oh. Okay, so this is one where we have to climb. Uh. Oh, and then they start giving me enemies as well. Go away, give me some gold instead. Uh, jump, jump, uh, that one. And a little bit of gold. So this is like... Just going that way, or no, I have to get up there. Yeah, sure. So I have to go back that way. Ah, uh, itchy brain. Hi Astral, welcome to the stream, good to see you. Now I think I have to get up on that tiny bit there perhaps. I am playing a dragon game that I got from Zazu and it's an evil game because it is a platform game which is not my strongest suit, so if I look like I'm focused, that is because I'm really trying to be. Oh, I noticed that they use that function where you can uh, jump uh, up through, but uh, you can still land on top. Uh, if you remember my coding streams, that's like one of the standard functionalities in platformers. So. I probably shouldn't be thinking about that while I'm 
considering strategies here. Okay, so we need to get over there. Turn around, get there, get there, and get rid of that dude. Ugh. Ugh, tiny pl Ah, don't do that. That's not fair. We're really working here. Ah. Uh, really don't deserve that. <laughs> this is uh, me being very, very focused. Oh, did someone, did someone in the middle of all this redeem something? Dragon time. Oh, that is so evil. Well, I'll be sitting on this platform. Let's uh, let's get some paper out because uh, that's the deal. Dragon time. It is. Uh, I've got some paper right here. There we go. I really hope nobody's starting to shoot me while I'm sitting. Let's see. Camera down. And let's do that. And it's going to be uh, upside down for you right, right now. But okay, dragon. I'm going to do starting with the eye because, yeah. Always starting with the eye when it's me. It's going to be a side view. And I think I have this idea. Let's see. I'm going to have a bit of those dragon horns out there. Okay, I'm still alive. I'm still. It's a good thing there isn't a timer on that one. And let's see. Let's do like a really curvy neck here because um, oh, let's see, chest area. There. Very short front legs here with claws curving down. See if I can make this idea work that I had. Like this is this poor dragon doesn't have a lot of room as you can see so it's kind of clinging here to this tiny piece of rock That's like the tail. Yep, I'm still alive. I'm still checking. Well, I hope if it whistles three different songs, I would get an achievement for that. So, see, um, this is like 
up here around the shoulders you will have like the wing thingies so I like this idea that it's kind of a little bit curled in on itself it's of course because I'm thinking about a big dragon trying to fit in in a platform game so this would be like one wing and then you would have like the other wing back here There we go. And we want like these. So we'll be seeing a little bit of that. Behind the wing there. And will she observe because you asked me about the fluffy thing when I did the doodle stream? How I'm not, I'm, I'm only doing like loose lines. It's not like I'm trying to do one um, big continuous line because when I do like this amount of lines at least one of them is gonna like fit the shape and then I can kind of pick that line out and uh, you know there's always the eraser to go in and work with it um, so let's see this poor dragon trying to balance on a tiny rock because it got caught up in a platform game. Um, it's kind of cute. I think I'll um, I'll make sure to clean this one up and paste uh, post it on Facebook. And uh, if you uh, message me, Eric, I'll make sure that you get a digital version of it as well when I'm done cleaning it up. want like just a little bit of a tooth there because that's like slightly cuter and now I can kind of go in and see which ones of all these lines are like my favorite lines so um, I'm pretty sure that we've got each other on no, you can just um, message message me wherever people usually message me. I mean, Twitter, Facebook. I'm trying to ignore everybody else, but uh, this group and Team Human and Team Zen and a couple of other things I'm still keeping an eye out for. So, uh, I have no idea if those are different songs. There's like some music in the background, but it's, it's like just changing so yeah I'm pretty sure we're mutual friends so you can just message me on Twitter otherwise just hit me up on Twitter and I'll make sure to friend you back and you can message me an email and I can when I have uh, done working on this one that is cute um, you will get a digital file on it. There we go. And for everybody else, it will of course also be posted in the Facebook group and probably on Twitter. I'll probably add some more stuff to it too. Uh, let's just do this, clean that up a bit so you can see like what the general lines of this is going to be and I think 
Eric, just as a little text line there. And I'm going to put the date down here. Seventeen, like that. And put that in a stack of things I am definitely do some bit more work on. So thank you very much for uh, for asking uh, for Dragon Time. Uh, always love a good excuse for drawing a dragon. There we go. That one goes to the side, back with the mermaid. And my not an angel. Um, let me just try to see if uh, I've lost so much focus that I can't jump anymore. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? have to do this one over again. Um, let's see. Well, um, it, it's a bit like the dragon in this game, you know. Um, dragon is ancient, a dragon is wise, a dragon has a, a lot of uh, things going for it, so there's no particular reason why it should be like unfriendly. Unless people are like bothering it and uh, I, I love doing uh, in the dragon, uh, one of the things that uh, I usually get in there somehow is either a friendly princess or an, uh, the annoying knight. The annoying knight thinks that um, that he has to save the princess from the dragon, so he kind of gets in the way. So uh, um, so I have to go down here and. Do what? No, it doesn't work. Can't get past. Um, so not that way was the message. Okay. Well, let's just jump the other way again. So what am I supposed to do now? I mean, I'm all the way up here. Huh. Well, here we are singing the song. Ain't that nice? And I can see that I managed to miss out on a break because I became involved in the game and drawing, but I have to remember it. And it's not just because I need to go out and get a smoke, though that is true. Um, it is a good idea to get up and uh, get some exercise when you're gaming too much. Ooh, careful. So, I am going to take a break. So, it's your usual routine. Turning off the camera, turning off the sign sound and leave you alone to kind of just chat amongst each other while the dragon is singing and trying to figure out what on earth I'm going to do now since I couldn't get past that way. So uh, see you in a little bit.
You can't believe we haven't gotten one achievement yet. I can believe that. I think. Oh well. On the other hand, I think that even in Counter Strike, I got one achievement, and I'm even worse at Counter Strike. Okay. Let's see. I'm stuck on a ledge. Stuck on a ledge. Okay, so what's the solution here? Just uh, going back down again, perhaps? Seeing if I kind of missed anywhere where I could kind of... It's only like one way, really. I mean, I have to... Well, now I'm definitely down there again, so... Is that like bottom of the top ledge, or do I have to kind of... Oh, that is the bottom of the top ledge. Hmm... You tipped me, and my tip... I was sure I put on tip notifications! I'm sorry that didn't get mentioned, so... <laughs> and thank you very much, very appreciated. I hit the tip button down at the bottom of the page because I thought that nobody would notice it, but apparently you did, so I am very grateful. I'll make sure to spend whatever amount on silly things and games and maybe some drawing equipment. So let's see, I couldn't get any further this way. Yeah, that will be my very first tip. Let me see. Why is that not set up? I'm pretty sure that I at least tried to set that up. Uh, let's see. I must have done something wrong when I tried setting it up. Huh. Oh, they did an update again and I forgot to update it. Let me just see. It should be connected, PayPal and everything. Uh, <sighs> Save settings. Why on earth does that not work? I have to look into that. Hmm. Gave me something more to figure out. <laughs> I'll buy a pencil. I'll make sure to buy at least one pencil and try to figure out how the heck uh, it worked when I did the testing earlier. Huh. Well, I'll have to run through that again. Well, that's something more to do. Thank you for helping me not be too bored and have something to do. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, happy lurking and sleep well, dark winter dreams. Always good having you. Oh, I went back out. Toxic territory. Did I just walk through an area by jumping on something? Well, I'm trying to be here every Monday, that winter dreams. Just so uh, hanging out with friends can be a little fun. I think that's needed at the moment, just hanging out and doing silly, ridiculous stuff. Yeah, got to find some more silly, uh, silly su uh, suggestions for what you can use the catnip for. Um, so please go there and put up a, a suggestion too if you have one. 
think I passed through the territory when I did that jumpy thingy. Okay. So yay, two and a half hours pretty easily. Uh, that's what happens when you get um, get into a game, especially one that is just a little bit tricksy. More platforms, or is this the same thing I'm at again? It might be the same thing I'm at again. Ouch. Yeah, and as I mentioned earlier, I'm, I'm going to try to um, fit in an afternoon stream as well, just because, well, I don't have a lot to do with my afternoons quite presently, so uh, I think it was just here, but no worries, let's just do this again. Go away then. Uh, out of flame. And that's the thing then. Just. Yeah. I think it's the same one I did before. I wonder where the end of that level is. So there's like three toxic territories. Was I in that one, King's Forest one? No, let's try that one. Auto hosting for Mr. Pound sign. Thank you very much. And auto greeting back. Always happy to have people auto hosting. Who knows? Someone might come by and find this even vaguely interesting. So let's try going in here and see if I played this one. Oh, it did not play this one. I would have remembered the graphic. So ah, so and there's a dude. Just hanging out and oh. ah, he is kind of. Uh, oh, I have to get up there, of course. <laughs> Having to control attack and jump and moving side to side. Back to that ambidextrous thing. Yeah, that's extremely purple or pink. Uh, looks more toxic than the toxic area. Oh, really well done. I think I got hit by everything this time around. Go back up there. Damn it, they hit hard. Hmm. So this time I, I probably actually have to concentrate on killing someone. Do I have any gold left? Should I kind of. 
go home for a trip before I lose all the gold. If I didn't already. Let's just do that. Just, you know, to check out where I'm at. Yeah, I think I just saved a little bit more. Now I'm at 419. So it's nothing else going back to home. Woo! <coughs> I never really played a lot of platform games either. Uh, except, um, well, I've tried. But, as I said, it's never really been my strong suit in gaming. I tend to um, prefer strategy games and uh, well I, I like RPGs as well, MMOs uh, in general, uh, big open worlds, uh, especially if I can craft stuff. But uh, when I was younger I was extremely addicted to, um, to Tetris and I have solitaire on my phone and if I can't sleep at all um, I, uh, I play solitaire I mean I'm ranked and everything well no I used to be on my old app but on this new app I'm not ranked oh talking and running at the same time he's extremely toxic that guy and those blobs going up from down there, those are toxic as well. Yeah, I know so. That's how I feel about some of it. It's like I play Snake. Um, so that's like what I know about trying to control your reflexes is not running into your tail end uh, in snake. Okay, so this time I got that bugger. Okay. Ouch! He is so evil! And I came all the way down again. No! Uh, oh well. But I remember the original Monkey Island, but I was like 1920, something like that, when uh, Monkey Island and uh, what's it called? Um, was it Crusaders of the Lost Ark and Wolfenstein came out approximately at the same time and they were like the first real um, PC games I've tried before that it has been mainly like arcade games uh, back in the 80s and then a long period where there was like nothing because unless you were like uh, I remember one of the first loans I took out was to buy a computer. Not first one to move into a dorm and then one to buy a computer. And my, my, uh, I remember that the accountant at the bank thought that was a really, really bad idea. I mean, nobody needed a computer for anything. So I was like, yeah, give me the money. I need PC. <coughs> Monkey Island was awesome. I was pretty hooked on Wolfenstein and I did play some of those fir early first person shooters but uh, first person shooters in the later years has become um, back when I played them the, it wasn't like online games that way it was like you, you went to a computer cafe and then you could kind of link up 10 computers locally so it was like only a um, local area network you got going there. So uh, you were like two teams in the same room against each other and 
uh, Coca-Cola and pizza and stuff like that. I was like an entire weekend where you kind of uh, crowded the, the internet cafes. Um, yeah, I think that that fits very well, Zazu, because you're like, what, seven, eight years younger than me? I mean, I'm 42 now. Uh, yeah, exactly, so. Uh, I spend ex around the same amount of money rebuilding uh, my present PC as that original loan that I spent on buying that PC and that has been around 94, 95 too. That was, um, I got a 486 um, and it was like, I had like the coolest computer on the entire campus back then. And I remember one of my college classes where um, there was like, a, again, there was like a local area network on the school. And we had this really technically inept teacher that was supposed to teach us natural sciences. And instead she just said like an entire class of geeks in a room full of computers with local area networking. And then she went away and drank her coffee. I mean, it was pretty easy for her. We. But the only thing we ended up being able to graduate in was like tank wars. Ah, get up there. There we go. Though I could have graduated in tank wars. Um, that was like the big thing back then was like lemmings and lemmings was like the advanced shit because it actually had a sense of humor built into it. I actually think that's a little bit later. I remember in my early 20s when I was playing then my all-time favorite game because I loved the way um, all the basic functions in it was uh, Masters of Orion 2. The game that will now kill almost any computer I try to play it on. And I think it was the one that might actually have killed my uh, my computer back then as well. So, yeah, 486, that was, it was uh, top of the pop, it just came out, uh, and, and, and the ones, the guys were like, uh, a lot of the like uh, computer guys, they haven't been like talking to me, even though they knew I spent all my time in the, uh, in the school's IT room doing HTML programming because it was like I was a girl and that was really still a big thing back then uh, but I've been used to that since like I think it was ninth grade where uh, I was one of the first classes that could take an elective in uh, in, in data processing and I grabbed that as, that as an electorate because it was either that or typing uh, and I was like, give me that data processing thing, and then, and then it was just like line coding in DOS and stuff like that we did. Uh, and I did electronics too. So I, I think I've been pretty geeky around it uh, when you, I mean, compared to my age. I was always like the one girl in, in the tech team. Um, but it was really funny. Um, <laughs> Such an awesome teenager. Well, I was a, a, the best thing is imagine all the things I did, and I was just extremely grumpy all the time as well. So, uh, so yeah, my first computer there in, in ninety four. I've uh, I've been twenty back then. Uh, before that, like the only uh, home PC I ever saw that was uh, like the rich family that we knew. They had uh, like uh, one of the early gaming consoles like with the tapes you slotted into it and then you hooked it up to the television. So it was like one of the early console types. 
uh, and you could play this, uh, I remember it was a Ghostbuster game, and it was just like the adult uh, men that was there playing it, and I remember already from when I saw that the first time, I was like, this is awesome. I, I need to need to uh, know more about this. Um. <laughs> oh, I'm a sorry hero. Uh, well, definitely not an angel, as my latest uh, drawing states very clearly. I think we we've. It's a good thing that I uh, dubbed this talk show. I think we're drawing like to the end. So now it's just like social talking with a game. Uh, game screen in the background. Oh yeah, I loved adventure games, but it was like uh, Dungeons and Dragons just came out in the uh, in the 80s in Denmark and it was like everyone was like, oh you're like a, a Satanist if you play Dungeons and Dragons and told us horror, horror stories about uh, Vulnerable teens in the in the Americas that had committed suicide because their game character died, so we were right, like really secretive with our dice sets, and uh, I remember that and, and concerned parents, uh, but uh, but it was pretty awesome, and I remember uh, back in that has has to be ninety one or ninety two. Uh, when I was at that um, academy, uh, theatre and music, uh, I was uh, when I started the year on the school. I was like the only girl who played Dungeons and Dragons, but quite a, a lot of the popular guys played it too. So uh, during that year that I was there, or those ten months, um, I got so many. Uh, friends that were girls for once that wanted to know how to play Dungeons and Dragons so they had something to talk to with some of those cute guys that they liked. It was so funny. Um, it was always kind of uh, hanging out with the dudes trying to drag some of the girls you knew that might be interested into it. You know, starting up uh, training new game masters and stuff like that. So... Uh, Oh, Doom, yeah, I remember Doom. Quake 2, yeah, I kind of, that that's where I got uh, unhooked from the first person shooters because uh, in, in the, uh, you have to remember earlier, there was like, the hitboxes were bigger, so it was actually easier to hit people, and uh, and the connection weren't as fast as they became in, within just a few years. So the first person shooter went from something that someone with my reflexes could still manage just a little bit. And then went to being something that, um, well, you had to be a, a little bit uh, faster than me, at least. So I was like always, oh, I'm dead again. Oh, I'm just lying over here dead if you're looking for me. So... Uh, yeah. Getting sentimental, no. I don't really miss, like, the old times. Like, uh, I hear some people talk about missing all that, no. I'm pretty happy with the future, always uh, being something we're moving towards. Uh, but uh, it's fun thinking back about all the stupid things you did when you were younger and... Uh, and when you get older, it's like, oh, it seems like there's almost like a storyline to why you ended up where you end up. Uh, but when you're like younger and in like the beginning of the storyline, you'd never have guessed that you had to jump through so many weird hoops in so many places to end up doing what you're doing. And I think it's kind of funny that I was when a, when I was a kid. Uh, um, and I was drawing obsessively. There was like several adults that tried to discourage me from keeping on drawing because that would never lead to anything. And here I am again, still on the internet, sending out drawings. 
slightly better drawings than back then, I have to admit that. Uh, that there's way, way more practice than talent in the stuff that I make. Oh yeah, Lemmings was good. <coughs> Killed a lot of Lemmings. Uh, also, I, I played a lot of Worms. Um, because they were so funny, whether they killed they killed each other or not. I mean, there was a lot of humor built into that game. Um, didn't play Diablo, uh, the original. Uh, my first role playing game must have yeah that must have been Diablo two, and my first MMO was World of Warcraft. Uh, which I started playing because I just ran into my boyfriend and uh, he was just waiting for it to come out because he's played he played, uh, what's it called? Dark Age of Camelot before so he was really looking forward to it and it was a blizzard game and everything so I was like vanilla beta World of Warcraft in early definitely Well, I actually like worms because I remember that a lot of the um, physical science teaching, uh, a lot of the stuff didn't make sense to me. Um, because sometimes when it, they try to teach you a formula about, for instance, trajectory or something like that, uh, I got confused because I was like, but they are leaving out so many factors, like, how about wind? Uh, how about if you shoot really high and atmosphere uh, instead of because everything was like you have to think about it in lab conditions um, and my brain had a really hard time understanding lab conditions oh gorillas yeah I remember gorillas definitely definitely uh, I played way too much World of Warcraft when that was out, uh, and has got me in on. P I was like mainly following him, him around in the beginning. I remember standing like in uh, North Shire Abbey as a level one, really, really scared that the wolves were gonna kill me, uh, because like before that, I mainly played like games where it was like you have to go through this level, and without getting killed, uh, and I wasn't used to the fact that there was like passive mobs that you could basically just hacked down like that. Uh, so I think it's funny to think about how you start out just be like oh what is this and then um, to now where you're just like oh Diablo hack, hack and slash and just like killing everything. Oh uh, my original character had way over a year's game time uh, pinky. It just got hacked three times, and the third time I kind of so many issues with uh, wanted to have like a photocopy of my passport to give me back my character, uh, Blizzard France, all kinds of crap. It's a lot easier today, um, but I'm like I've given up on retrieving that account. Uh, though it was funny because it was like the first uh, time that I uh, got the name Tony Cat because I was lazy and just had to figure out something quickly and get a name. And then I've been like Tony Cat ever since. That started with the World of Warcraft, Warcraft character. So, uh, no, it can be nice sometimes to, you know, um, nice to sometimes get lost in a game. I have to admit I'm not really ashamed about uh, my temporary game addictions because it's like the same temporary addiction I get to knitting or crocheting or doing a drawing. It's just that I have like a, wi a wider variety of hobbies to choose from so it might not seem as obsessive as someone who only has gaming as a hobby, but really it is. It's it's just me running through different spectres. So yeah, uh, I mean, 
Before Tony Cat, I've had several different nicknames on the internet. I can hardly remember them. Uh, I think, oh, I was Mesmer for quite a while in the beginning. Uh, but that that wasn't really it didn't really stick but when I got Tony Cat it was like oh that's natural because it's like a combination of both my first names and I've been called both my first names in, in different uh, scenarios when I was a teenager I was mainly Tony when I was a kid I was Katerina so it, it's like oh it, it's like both parts of your personality too <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, some names are like, uh, sometimes I, I have to smile because uh, some names are like, clearly shows uh, in how many different uh, media areas that there is a lot of uses and, and if you have to have a unique username, y you can... I think one of my favorite ones that I've seen several times in different streams is Don't Put Me On Pizza because I always smile when I see that name. It makes me makes me a little bit happy every time I see that name. Um, one of the ones I, I have as a, a go-to if I can't get Tony Cat uh, and I can't always get that one either. I'm Waffles because there's something happy about waffles so uh... oh I saw uh, saw Lion King when it came out in the cinema in Slaylse. I remember that it was absolutely horrible because uh, I wasn't thinking so I went to a show filled with small kids and um, as um, a promotional thing they've given them all balloons with the uh, Lion King motifs on them and every kid in Denmark knows that if you pull out, pull out that pluck and you kind of pull on the end of a balloon it'll do this squeaky sound so all throughout the, the Lion King that, that I was really looking forward to because I love animation there was these kids doing this balloon squeaky thingy uh, it was horrible Oh, waffles isn't that hard. I could put that uh, recipe up on the website because that that's like a, a one, two, three thing. Uh, you can even like um, make the mix ready in the in the evening and then just pour it in the morning. So you can like just put it in a thermos or something like that in the fridge. So. Well, kids, kids are, again, not my strong suit. Uh, never has been. I've always known I wasn't going to be one of those people who have kids, and my mom's pretty happy I don't have any because she doesn't want to be a mom at her age. <laughs> so uh, I, I totally get that because, uh, I mean, everybody whose family or, or who knows me knows that I'm... My, my niece, uh, who's known me my entire life, or her entire life at least, tells me with a smile that I'm not kid friendly and calls me monster so uh, I'm pretty happy about that I usually say to people like you can give them to me when they're like ages 10 and up uh, when like the frontal lobes have started to fully develop and all the different things that we know biologically you go through in the younger ages because I prefer that they have a at least like an initial initial uh, inkling of abstract thinking um, I mean I can communicate with kids it, it's not that it's just that it takes a lot of energy so well that was a little bit about kids I really get all around today because I'm just talking I'm kind of just looking at the little dragon wiggling its tail around so <laughs> First four letters and a random generated name. 
yeah, why not? I mean, everything that you you kind of feel, and one of the things is also that uh, you'll stumble across a name and and you'll discover that oh, this name isn't taken anywhere, so it is kind of like a unique name. Uh, or a unique combination of names and something. And I, I think it's nice to actually have your own unique identity on the internet. Um, have, I've never run into another Tony Cat, so there's a lot of cats out there, but not a lot of Tony Cats. I think I googled it once, and the only other Tony Cat it came up with was like a red Tom Cat, so that was pretty okay. So yeah, kids from like 10 uh, and upwards is like uh, more uh, what I've been working with too when I've been teaching and doing like youth club stuff. Um, but it's funny because they already at the age of 10 they can then they're actually able to do a lot of things that uh, the parents uh, don't expect from them because they're kind of stuck on the fact that they've just had him had them from zero to ten, which is like the age where you're developing, not the age where you start to use the fact that you've developed. So, uh, so I love kids from like when they start getting uh, <laughs> getting a bit more fresh with the adults and and talking back and stuff like that, where you can like have a discussion. You feel like you can maybe push a push a little thing, or, a, or you know, um, yeah, they're funny that age. Well, that was a very very long winding down talk, and it is now almost midnight, twenty to midnight. Uh, it's been really fun playing this. Uh, I need to figure out how to get to the exit menu here. Uh, escape, it says. That <laughs> dragon will be sad to see you go. Well, sorry about that, dragon, but I think that's all I can handle for the day. I'm just hoping that it saves. Otherwise, uh, oh yeah, that's a continue. Super. I'll be playing this again. <laughs> this was fun. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, I know, I know. But it is Monday evening, and uh, next Monday is going to be the first Monday of the month, and that means that it's going to be a Sims Monday. Oh, bye Ryoshi. So, uh, so next Monday is going to be Sims. Um, I'm going to look into finding out what weekday I'm going to start doing an afternoon stream. Uh, have to just square that with Anders, which day uh, fits him uh, the best. And uh, yeah. Happy for hanging out with you and getting my very first donation ever. Yay, that was awesome. So that definitely cheered up my Monday. I hope that this cheered up everybody else's Monday just a little bit. And uh, as said, uh, I'm going to try to make sure that I find some more time for streaming. Yeah, make sure that if you aren't in this in the in uh, the sim city uh, yet that you have uh, character things ready so we can create characters and get people into houses so everybody can meet each other so uh, yeah it was a good game Sazu. that was fun so uh, well I'm honored so I'm honored yeah this is just me saying a long good night let's get this over with Goodbye, talk you to you all later.